Okay, good morning class. Good morning, sir. So I uh, gave you some homework yesterday. The homework was dealing with uh, geometry. I think we were on page nine. All right. We did this one, eh? Yes. Oh, is this the two we must do? Okay, so this is on page nine. Um. question already we have looked at um, uh, basically laid out the route for you calculating this um, morning, this um, unknown values so let's get straight into it so we are told that in triangle ABC A ACD sorry ACD we are told that BE is parallel to CD. So BE is parallel to CD. So we said many things can happen here. We can say that angle is equal to that angle. These corresponding angles. This angle is equal to that angle there. And uh, the co interior angles. And so on. Okay. Then we are told that AB is equal to AE. Which now means to say that a, uh, B1 is equal to E1. Okay, why? Angles opposite equal sides. So all those angles are the same. Then we are told that ABC, ABC is parallel to HE. So the lines of parallel alternate angles are equal. So there's your alternate angles here. Okay? Then we are told that DG is produced, which means to extend it to F. And ABC is perpendicular. This means to say this 90 degrees. My apologies for the interruption. ABC is 90 degrees. Please come down to the office. Please come down to the office. Is she in this class? No. Okay. So the first question is calculate the size of A and E and show that. So let's calculate the size of A first. So we're looking at A as you can see here. That's your exterior angle of that triangle. So exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Okay? So let's go with that. We say that uh, 3a plus 10 is equal to 20 plus 2a. Why? It's exterior angle of triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite. And it's the exterior of triangle CGD. So A is one side, numbers the other side. So 3A minus 2A is A. 10, uh, 20 minus 10 is 10 degrees. Okay. Then it says hence. If it says hence, that means to say from that previous calculation. Okay, from the answer of a show that EG EG no CG CG is equal to DG so if CG was equal to DG then what can be concluded if these lengths were equal what could we have seen could have said that that angle is equal to that angle. Not so. so in order to prove that CG is equal to GD, we now prove that 
C2 is equal to D2. But we know what D2 is. What's D2? 20 degrees. So let's go with D2. So D2 is equal to 2 times A. And what's A? 10. So that is 20 degrees. Not so? So now, and this is how we, how we, how we, should we, we do a show that question or we prove that question. They could have said instead of show that, they could have said prove that. CG is equal to DG as well. Okay? So, um, so now we say since, we state the obvious. We said since D2 is in fact equal to C2, which is equal to 20 degrees. Can you see that? We're stating the obvious. Therefore, CG is equal to GD. And what do you think? What is the reason here? Should it be? Is it angles opposite equal sides? Is the sides equal here or is the angles equal here? The angles are equal. So it's the reason here is going to be sides opposite equal angles. The one that we use often is angles opposite equal sides. Yeah, it's actually sides opposite equal angles. So this here is now equal to that here as well. All right. Let's carry on. In number two, I'm going to take this off so that I can keep the diagram in focus. Okay. Number two. It says calculate with reason the value of B, C, and D. So we see that this here is 90 degrees. So B is equal to 90 minus 20. And what's the reason there? It's given that A, C, G equals 90. Or we could have said given that A, B, C is perpendicular to C, G. Same thing. Okay? So angle B is going to be 70 degrees. So also note here, I'm populating this diagram. Everything I've calculated, I put on this diagram. Okay? So it's on this diagram now. So, we got B. Let me say for C, we're going to first go with B1, because that B1 is the same as um, C1. So B1 is equal to 70 degrees wide, corresponding angles, with BE being parallel to C. Not so? Yes, 70 degrees. Then, E1 is equal to 70 degrees. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. There's also 70. And then C now would be what? But since I asked for C, so C is equal to 70. Why? Corresponding angles are equal with uh, BE being parallel to C. Very simple. Okay. So we got B, we got C. You see these bullets on the side here? It's indicating that those are the angles that we should calculate. Normally we must cut a line here. Okay. But because of the space here, I just make the bullets that you don't have to do. And D? D we can go with some of triangles here. Okay? So D plus 2 times 70 equals 180Y. Sum of triangles and this triangle AB. So 
So lowercase d is equal to 180 minus 140, which is 40 degrees. Okay. They will have answered what they what they want. Okay, number three. Okay, number three says calculate the value of E1 and plus E3. So E1 and E3. So is that angle I need to work out there? Okay. Or they could have called it BEH. Will that be an also suffice? But let's go with that. For, we got E1, so E3 needs to be calculated. E3 is the same as angle A. So E3 is equal to? Is equal to uh, 40 degrees. Why? As you can see there, it's alternate angles. Okay? Alternate angles with HE being parallel to AB or AC or BC. Okay? So therefore, E1 plus angle E2 is equal to, what's the size of E1? 70, 70 plus 40, 40 which is? 120. No reason required there. Okay. As I indicated, the sum is a lot of marks on this. Okay. You guys must go to, um, to the computer lab in the first period, okay? Okay, means. Right. So, we are now busy with uh, D. So we are told that intra-angle PQR with TP being parallel to QRS. Okay, so if lines are parallel, we know many things. We can use alternate angles are equal. We could use co-interior angles. Um, yeah, let be parallel. Then they ask you to express Y in terms of theta. So I must use, set up an equation dealing with Y and dealing with theta. Okay. And then make y the subject of the formula. So, by expressing y, the, 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 the equation that I can set up is that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Okay. So let's do that. So we say y plus theta minus plus 10 equals 2 theta plus 4. Okay, and the reason here is exterior angle of triangle and it's triangle PQR. So make Y the subject of your formula. So Y is equal to 2 theta plus 40 minus theta minus 10, which gives you theta plus 30 degrees. So there we have Y in terms of theta. Okay, this is number one. In number two, they ask you to calculate theta. Okay, so earlier on we said that the alternate angles are equal. Not so. So we can say that 2 theta minus 40 is equal to theta plus 10. And where do I get that from? The fact that it's alternate angles with TP 
in parallel to QS or QR or QR is okay we take theta over, negative 40 over so 2 theta minus theta is equal to 10 plus 40 so theta is equal to However, if they ask you to calculate y, angle uh, the value of y as well, it was not asked, but to calculate y, I would have then say it's y is equal to theta plus 30. So what is theta? 50. So it would be 50 plus 30, which is 80. But that wasn't asked. Okay. That now brings us to The exercise three. And this is on page ten. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a chance to um, to do this out quickly. And then I will do it on the board as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to do the sum first. Okay. So I'll pause the video at this point. I'll call you up one by one and check your books now as well. Okay. Your, your booklets. Right, so we are told that A, B, C, D is a trapezium with... AB being parallel to CD, AB is equal to AD. Then we are told, so if AB is equal to AD, okay, firstly, if lines are parallel, alternate angles are equal. Then AB is equal to CD, AB is equal to CD, then C is equal to D, angles opposite equal sides. Okay? Then AB, AD, sorry, uh, BD is equal to BC. So that means you say that A is equal to 80. Angles opposite equal sides. Then we have told that C is equal to 80, determine the unknown angles. So we start off with A equals 80. So A is equal to 80, why? Angles opposite equal sides. Then we can calculate B. Uh -huh. Sum of triangles. The angle B plus 80 plus 80 equals 180. Sum of triangles and this triangle BDC. So B is equal to 20 degrees. Then we said the alternate angles are equal. So C is 20. Why? So alternate angles with AD being parallel to BC. Then we know that D is equal to 20Y. Angles opposite equal sides. Are you going to calculate E? Sum of triangles as you can see. So E plus 20 plus 20 equals 180. Sum of triangles in this triangle ABD. So angle E is equal to 180 minus 20 minus 20. Give you 140 degrees. Okay. Yes? Is that enough? Okay. Thank you. So here we are told
Here we are told that ABC is a parallelogram. So at this point, you should have learned all the properties of a parallelogram and all of those things, no? You've got the sheet with all those things on. Not so? Right. So A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. The question says calculate X. So what are the properties of a parallelogram? There are four properties of a parallelogram. Opposite lines are parallel. Two pairs of opposite sides which is parallel. Okay? Didn't we go through this properties yet? Huh? Have we gone through it now? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, look at the properties quickly. And you will write this down, okay? So take out your, your, your notebooks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the definitions of the following shapes or your following quads. Basically, a quadrilateral is a four sided figure. A quad is four sided. Okay, a four sided figure. Hello. So we're going to look at the summary. Of definitions and properties of quadrilaterals. So the first one I want you to draw is your quadrilateral. Is this one here? This is your parallelogram. Okay, it's a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides at all. Parallel. The angles, the opposite angles of a parallelogram are are equal. So angle A is equal to angle C as well as angle B is equal to angle D. Okay? And the interior angles, all these angles inside a quadrilateral always adds up to 360. 360 degrees. The sides, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and they are equal. Can you see that, people? Yes. All right. So write that down.
So you guys finished with that one? Guys, was right quick. That you should be done with the first one, no? Still not. Okay, in uh, later on's lesson, we're going to uh, conclude this. I will just uh, delay the video and start it. Okay. Now the start of period one.